What's up, everybody? It's your boy Melvin for another classic review. Well, since last time, which, sorry about the late upload, because remember, Hurricane and Fiona cut the power off, which, yeah. It'll make an upload uploading videos pretty difficult, and I'm doing it on my phone, which single up here is pretty shit, so. Last time I was talking about Billy and Mandy's Jack the Halloween. I did mention the Kids Like Store episode of the Zombie Nerds. And I got some requests, and like, eh, maybe do a couple of the episodes from this show. There are plenty of them. I know a couple, but hey, I'll start with the one from season three, episode thirty-seven, called Operation Uncool, which was aired on October twenty-ninth of twenty o four. Which, oh boy, I think this is the lesson for those from that generation: they never steal from nerds. Period. I mean, literally. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. But before we begin, did you subscribe? Did you hit the bell? If so, what are you waiting for? Are you stealing from nerds? Because, oh boy, you'll be paying the price for stealing from them. I mean, literally, you'll be paying the piper for stealing their stuff. Period. You're going to pay for your sins for stealing nerds. And let's begin, shall we? We guess... So, we get takes place in somewhere in a region called Sector X, where we meet operatives number 40, 78, 42, and 34, running out of a, it's like a, so they're being attacked by something, while shutting the door, I think the first number 78, who's the commander of the, this group, gets captured by whatever that is, the fuck that was. Then leaves number 42 and number 34 running for their lives until number, I think it was num number 34 got captured by something and before he does, pushes a button which sends number 42 which into an escape ship, leave him alone. <clears throat> and oh boy, I call that a zombie one, I tell you what. Soon after, we meet number two, number four, playing y Yipper Cards. If you don't know what Yipper Cards are, they're like the they're they're the Candy World's Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic, sort of, and Digimon, which they're playing while on their ship called the Mosquito. Yeah, you know what the Mosquito is? It's a classic one. Which, number three, is watching because she's curious. Number two puts out a really rare, powerful card. In person number two, pressing, yeah. Mentioning he has a guy who can get him the rare cards. Number five appears and tells them to put away their dorky cards, which, yeah, of course. Because they have, there's an emergency. That's when... They'll go on the bridge and see the escape ship floating in midair without contact. Soon after, number one tells them to check for survivor, which is so the mosquito. Well, of course, the mosquito will suck out something. Guess what it is? Number 42. Which sees ho number two tells them that they need to get number 78 back. Which, where? In Sector X, which I think Sector X is in Louisiana because it's like a bayou, so yeah. I tell you what. Oh boy, soon they must to go full power, full throttle, and head for Sector X, which we get to see the treehouse in Sector X. Holy shit. That's how creepy it is. I mean, literally creepy. You don't see nothing like those anymore, so yeah. So they managed to land, and they split up, leaving number three behind with number 42. Well, he's in a comatose, which, oh no, number three's gonna do something like to him. Which, I think he already knows the, the, uh, the thumbnail, what she did to him. So they, so number one, number four, number two, and number five, walk inside, in the hangar of, of Sector X, which, oh boy. Yes, and the hangar. Oh boy. 
Which, they're in all time. Number three is giving number 42 makeover. That's what number 42 wakes up, sees what number three has done to him until he can recognize that they're back in Sector X, which means, oh shit, they need to get the fuck out. That's what number three started to look for until she got, until a pair of hands breaks through the window and grabs her, which we need number five screaming. Number five, number four, number two, number one, running from a horde of nerd zombies, which they're shooting them with anything. Nachos, spice, anything nice. <laughs> which I think the first one who got grabbed. Okay, nerd zombies. That's a new one. <sighs> I think this would be a lesson because you'll, you'll see why. You'll see why. Of course, the first ones who got soon after... But soon after, number one stays behind to hold him off. But but it's unsuccessful. He got grabbed by the zombies from the floor. Literally, he got pulled down the floor, zombie style. The remainders, number two, four, and five, kept going until. Oh yeah. Let's see. Wedge, number four, unknowingly backed into a horde zombies. Literally, he just shoot. In the front, but unaware there are zombies behind him, he gets captured as well, leaving number two and number five. Soon after, they went to a room where they they run into number forty-two. It leads to a chamber in the middle. Like number five tells him to grab. That's when he found number seventy-eight, which number five said, "Grab uh, number two, grab your girlfriend, let's go." And that's what number two said, "Girlfriend, yeah, grab your girlfriend." That's when number four two says, "Wait, my commander, wait here for my commander." <laughs> That's when she turns. It's actually <laughs> a yipper card. A number issue number seventy two, no seventy eight, yipper card. What well, she gets pissed off. They just lost their comrades for a stupid train card. That's what she says right there. And soon after, when. They're about to grab the card. Actually, number 42 grabs the card. <laughs> Unknowingly, number 5 gets captured by the zombies. Leaving number 2 and number 42 right behind. Which... Oh boy. That's when... When there you got... That's when number 42 revealed... He stole the card, which pisses off number two because he told him, that's what he said, you never, ever steal from nerds because they'll turn into nerd zombies. Soon after, the nerd zombies stop and appeared a gigantic nerd zombie. I guess this is the leader. He just like, he just looks like, like zombie nerd Hulk right there. Oh my god, that's Zombie Nerd Hulk right there. Soon after, number 42 shows the card to the to the Zombie Hulk. He starts sniffing until he touches it. That's when something, a chain reaction, that's when light starts to appear. And then, that's when, when it, when it all was over, the nerds turn back to normal. And I think the leader, they, well, thank you. Well, it's not nice to steal our stuff, you know. We are ultimate card back! Yeah. Which, number two, number four, two, as were their friends, which, no, the, I think the, the nerd leader informs them that being kept in their clubhouse, forced to watch Dr. Time Space and the Continuum. Yeah, we got a clip of all of them, code number 78, number 34, 1, 3, 4, and 5. Being tortured, even number five begging to let her go. <clears throat> Soon after, number two begs him to let her go, and the lurid leader say, "Never!" I like to have something to trade. Which number two and number forty, number forty-two looks in their deck until number forty-two pulls out a a yipper ninety-nine. Which the nerd leader say, "That is super rare. Where do you get that?" And then we get this. Oh! That's when they all s looked fr fright and like, and then and number two like, you did it, and the mission ends there. 
If you turn a nerd into a zombie, what does that? What did you stole that turns to a werewolf right there? <laughs> I mean, literally. That is a werewolf, brother. What? If, I'm, if you can steal from the nerd and he turns to zombies, what person turns to a werewolf if you steal theirs? And this is a 99 Yipper card, so... If you steal a Yipper 78 from a nerd and turn it to zombies, what do you? What happens if you steal from... Well, you already turn to a werewolf because this is just... <laughs> Dude, this is just... Wow. I mean, wow. And this is bad. I think this is a good episode. I think this was... Well... <coughs> I remember when this came out. I was second grade when season three of Kidlick's Store came out. In the October season. It was pretty good. Actually, I never got to see it. Well, totally, because... I was here in Puerto Rico back for my grandpa's funeral at the time. No, because my grandpa was sick and funeral was that November 1st. So, yeah. So, he was uh, at the time. Period. Yeah. That was not a fun childhood. I kind of missed a good part of Halloween in elementary while I was at the Stuckator's Island. <laughs> Sorry. I was helping the brigade yesterday clean some, some branches and trees to clear the roads because of the hurricane. So, eh. <laughs> I got paid the price, but hey, we have to clear the roads. You don't want to look like a mess, don't you? But yeah, that was Operation Uncool. So wait, so let me know what you think of this episode because hey, this is a lesson for you guys who think stealing from nerds is cool. Hell no! You try to steal from a nerd, they're gonna attack you in hordes of zombies. I mean, literally. I'm not joking. Never steal from nerds. Period. It means if it's a rare card, if you nerd yourself, never steal from nerds. Period. You gotta trade. You gotta give somebody that you want. In a trade. That's how it works. Dumbass. <laughs> but yeah. I think the... So yeah, let me know what you think. And I think I might try a nerd episode of Candy. Okay, I think the one I might try is the... I can't remember the name of this one. I'm gonna describe it. It's, okay, there's the hamster one where number, when number sector V or oh, I forgot the name there sector that was given a funeral to a hamster and the hamster come back as a ghost and kidnaps Nordris and takes her to their hamster heaven and when she wanted to leave, they all get pissed and turn into ghosts and then somehow they merge into a giant ghost hamster kaiju. <laughs> Yeah, that episode. Someone tell me what was the name of the episode, including the other one. The I think it was the one where everybody, when no one came in injured, and they had to lock down the treehouse, and one by one they get spanked. I believe it was Count Spankulet. That one. What's the name of that episode? So I can do those reviews for tomorrow. No, for the day and the other day. But yeah, let me know what you think of this episode. And this was a two-part episode. The other one was Tricky. <laughs> Operation Tricky, where number four... Well, the rest of the, the group... What? It? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Where the rest of the group had to make a bet if number four can collect trick-or-treat the most candy. And, yeah. What involved Sticky Beard? <laughs> that was the other half of the episode. But, yeah. Let me know what you think of... Of the episode, have you seen it when it first aired back in, in 2004, just two days before Halloween? And give a like to this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.